Hey everyone, welcome to the results announcement video of our second dive coaster contest. In this contest everybody has to make had to make a vertical drop roller coaster. So of course these coasters are based on the B&M uh, dive coaster. And uh, you can do some uh, great things with this type of coaster. Now uh, the map uh, size for this contest was once again quite compact since these coasters uh, tend to be uh, quite compact. Anyway, um yeah, I let's go through all the entries. We'll start with the one that got last place and we'll finish by announcing who is the winner of this round. Alright, in last place we have this entry from 73 as uh, as he goes by these days, or maybe it's changed already. Anyway, um, yeah, his typical very purple uh, palette and this time he has also added a huge tower made of colosseums here, which uh, is actually quite difficult to look at since the screen doesn't really allow me to uh, yeah, to go this high. Looks like a little uh, garden on top here. Uh, anyway, there's also a vertical drop roller coaster here. You can see it here. So it starts off nicely with also the catwalk uh, on the side of the track, and then it dives down into this huge thing of glass. And here it has a bit of a wonky layout as it drops down very steeply. Here it goes into a small loop. Uh, this looks kind of strange. If you want to do something like this, probably better to go for a large loop rather than having it change uh, the steepness three times in the track. But yeah, um, what most people probably didn't like was uh, how the coaster really almost blends into the into the color of the ground. It's all really bright purple, and it's not really that uh, that uh, nice to look at. Uh, there were a few nice spots in the sp in the park like. Uh, this car thing over here. This is actually pretty cool. But yeah, overall it's just a little bit messy. Maybe uh, try to go for a normal palette next time. Okay, the next one is from Young Wee. They make a little bit of a jump in score. So here the coaster leaves the station. I quite like the layout of this uh, coaster. Also a diagonal lift hill that always looks pretty impressive. Coaster drops down here. Uh, goes below this uh, this highway or this uh, this road at least this road bridge and here uh, it does a loop and another uh, well here there's the mid course brake run then there's another inversion a little water splash before it here returns back to the station with another uh, final inversion here so I think uh, layout wise this uh, this entry is really good um, yeah some areas of the park are a little bit empty though especially for example over here and over here, right next to the drop, it probably could have been uh, decorated a bit more uh, nicely. Also, there's some other rides here, and this log flume over here, well, something like this uh, would probably be great for scenario play. But uh, yeah, in this example, I think it looks a little tiny bit dangerous. There's this big drop, immediately followed by a curve, well, <laughs> and a real log flume. That's something you uh, probably should not do as it would be very uncomfortable for the guests. So yeah, it's a nice layout for the coaster, but uh, decoration-wise, I think here and there it could have been filled out a little bit more. Okay, the next entry is from Girati. Uh, he made this very uh, short layout for this uh, for his dive coaster, with still a really long drop here. So yeah, here's the station of the coaster, goes up a little bit, drops down uh, into this uh, hole in, in the ground. I quite like this uh, viewing area here for the guests. And here it pops out again. Goes over this hill which has some brakes on top. Then it dives uh, under this path before it returns back to the station. So yeah, very uh, simple layout. Maybe it could have fit another inversion here. Not really sure. Um, but yeah, of course it's also a small map, so that's why uh, the layout is also uh, so short. But yeah, for the rest of the map, all well, quite uh, simple. Just some paths, some uh, some nice extra rides here as well. A swinging ship right under the coaster. I think that's uh, that's pretty nice. Also some nice uh, interaction here in the form of this uh, path uh, passing over the coaster. So yeah, overall quite a simple map, quite a simple layout. But uh, I think Jirati did. Uh, did it quite nicely. All right, next up is Der Sunger. Now he did a really neat trick in his park. He actually uh, made the coaster duel with uh, uh, 
water splash vehicle or uh, I believe you can see uh, actually see a track here underground so yeah, whenever this coaster passes uh, over this uh, section here you can also see a water splash let's see if we can uh, see it in action so we can see the coaster leave here by the way a <laughs> big uh, airplane here uh, also uh, partly as support structure for the coaster now I think this airplane over here well a really cool idea probably it's a little bit too big for this coaster uh, so it requires these massive uh, support here so probably if you want to decorate the coast with an airplane maybe a little bit smaller scale would be uh, would be nice but of course it's it is quite difficult to uh, make a good looking shape with these uh, big blocks anyway a coaster goes up here passes through this inversion and here it goes down vertically again and here there's the water splash yeah, I think that's uh, quite a neat uh, effect. So a funny American flag here <laughs> with the blue here and then this uh, striped section here. Oh, it's not actually America. UML, nation in the West. <laughs> yeah, overall, uh, yeah, I think uh, especially this trick that was used here is uh, pretty neat. Um, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, airplane structure probably a little bit too big. And decoration-wise, it's all... Uh, quite uh, simple. I do like uh, that there's uh, like this uh, flight deck over here. So yeah, at least there is, uh, there is a consistent theme in this uh, map. That's quite nice. Alright, next entry is from Seahorse Jean. Um, Seahorse Jean made this uh, map with this uh, big village or, or town with the coaster uh, passing uh, through it. So kind of like a, a dark ride or, or a scenic ride. Uh, especially in this section over here. Lots of uh, straight uh, sections. So yeah, quite uh, unconventional for a vertical drop coaster. And over here it uh, comes to a screeching halt in the holding brake and then it drops down vertically over here. Then it passes through this uh, section over here. Also quite uh, scenic I guess. Here another, <laughs> here another uh, Sudden break in the holding brakes. Probably would be nice to have a little bit of a break before it, so it doesn't break so uh, sudden. And then here it drops down and goes through this uh, straight section here. There's even a bit of a booster over here to make it go through the cobra roll. Now I uh, I typically don't really like uh, having to use like one or two pieces of booster. Uh, maybe it would be nice to actually hide the, these uh, booster pieces so it's not that obvious. Because if your coaster doesn't make it through, then probably you should just make it a little bit lower or make the drop a bit higher, something like that. That's usually uh, uh, nicer than using uh, boosters. But yeah, if you have to use them, it's always better to hide them in my opinion. Now, I, I do really like the landscaping down here. This waterfall is really nice. The town here is also really nice. And I really like how the coaster uh, passes through it. Now, something else uh, which I quite found quite funny is this: uh, how crazy this transfer track is. So I guess uh, coasters, uh, cars can actually be led to this track over here. Or with this, if this curve uh, slides into place. It will actually be led to uh, this tunnel over here. <laughs> so yeah, probably not something you would see uh, in real life, a, a huge transfer track like this. But uh, for sure it is, uh, it is quite something to see. I uh, quite enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I quite like it. Alright, next entry is from Zularis. Oh, he made quite a nice uh, support structure for his coaster over here. I uh, really like the way he did it. Um, yeah, then the coaster drops down, goes up vertically again. Well, I generally don't recommend uh, having any coaster go up vertically if it if it's not into an inversion. Or, uh, well, yeah, I guess you could see this as a top hat. So I guess uh, it uh, it could work. Well, yeah, um, layout is actually quite uh, s quite stretched out over the map. Um, here's an interesting section. Uh, after that, it travels. Uh, over the water here uh, with this uh, large loop. Uh, I quite like the location of this loop here right in the middle of these paths. That's uh, pretty nice. Now this section, I don't know, maybe a little bit too stretched out and with these uh, double loops here and then going back under it. 
Yeah, coaster covers uh, a lot of uh, land here. I do like this uh, junior coaster that uh, passes through this uh, area. Oh, also some nice uh, and colorful landscaping here with a lot of these uh, gardens next to the path. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty nice. I also like the location of this uh, enterprise here. Alright, here's the entry from Berm de Bom. Oh, he made a huge uh, coaster. That's a vertical drop coaster. Mostly uh, these coasters are all about the vertical drop. But uh, Bam the Bomb uh, made a sprawling uh, layout. It travels all throughout the map. I believe it has something like uh, 8 inversions, which is quite insane. But a nice uh, support structure for his coaster throughout. Also has some color changes, for example, in this uh, jungle section here. I uh, like how we did the foliage. Also another section here, with uh, this looks a bit prehistoric. Over here there's uh, again another section, this is uh, uh, like yeah, a harbor section, something like that. Um, yeah, also a, a really nice looking town over here, so with a beautiful lighthouse. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool rides in this park, also love this uh, little section over here. So yeah, he really used all the available uh, map space. Uh, yeah, he made uh, quite a long uh, layout for this uh, vertical drop coaster. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Bam the Bomb did a great job on these uh, buildings over here, this little town uh, scape. And especially this uh, lighthouse uh, really uh, stands out. Quite nicely uh, done. Alright, here we have the entry from Lurker. Uh, Lurker actually made this entry in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, which I think is quite impressive. Although, uh, of course, it doesn't give you all the options that you would normally have. Uh, if you don't use trainers and stuff. So for example we don't see the catwalks and uh, inversions that we would uh, normally see in, uh, in these coasters that have been made in open roller coaster Tekken 2. But still, I think it's uh, quite uh, impressive considering the limitations that you have on uh, roller coaster Tekken 1. I think uh, it is quite a nice uh, layout, the way uh, Lurker made it. I really like how it travels through the landscape here, and it's it's definitely the centerpiece of the park. And all these uh, buildings over here the, with these castle pieces, I think they look uh, amazing. So yeah, once again a wonderful uh, landscape from uh, Lurker, I uh, really like the way he built this. Okay, here's the entry from Kanaifa. No, it's in his uh, typical uh, style. He really likes uh, doing these spots uh, this way with these fences uh, around them. Uh, some beautiful patches of foliage around it, uh, gardens, trees. And of course his uh, really nice style of doing buildings. Also some other rides here like this little uh, shoestring ride. Beautiful building uh, over here. And of course his uh, dive coaster also uh, really nicely done. So yeah. Um, Goes up, diagonal lift hill over here, um, drops down in, into an inversion, then it does another inversion here uh, as it passes under this, uh, under the lift hill. I think that's uh, pretty cool. And after that, it uh, goes over the brake run and then finally into the brake run. And over here, there's uh, a little transfer track. Yeah, I think it uh, runs uh, quite well even though it runs uh, three trains on this uh, short layout. I think that's uh, that's done uh, really well. I really don't like it when it uh, has to stop in the middle of the track, although now that I look at it, it actually looks like it doesn't actually run uh, block breaks. So that's probably the reason. But yeah, um, yeah just a wonderful uh, little park once again from uh, Kanaifa in his uh, typical style that we know from him. Okay, then we have a tie for ninth place. Uh, this is the entry from Uno Reverser Coaster. Now, his entry was based on a story. Now, uh, I cannot really remember what the story was, but uh, I do think this is one beautiful entry. So, uh, this uh, this town over here, it looks a little bit uh, dark and uh, and dull, uh, which I believe was a uh, part of the story. But uh, over here we have this uh, castle, and it's actually quite uh, colorful. I really like uh, how we used these uh, recolorable uh, flames. And yeah, this, uh, these colors really uh, draw all the attention to this uh, castle over here. 
I also really like the way he used the glass here in this uh, tower. The tower itself also looks uh, beautiful. I love these uh, recolorable uh, grave monuments. I think they work well as uh, to work to uh, use as uh, little towers. So I think uh, Uno refers to Chaos did a, did a great job there. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of glitching uh, going on here. Um, but yeah, layout of the coaster, I think it's also uh, quite nice. Here we see this uh, tower. So it uh, uh, goes up here vertically. Then it goes here to the top of the tower. Then it drops down over here. Uh, passes under this uh, bridge. And over here in this section. Uh, yeah, there's lots, uh, <laughs> lots of helixes going on. And finally here there's an another inversion over the path. I think that's a really nice uh, location uh, to have uh, the final inversion. And after that, over here is the break run. So I think there's some nice uh, interaction going on here. And uh, I especially love the colors in this map. It's all quite brown, but uh, all the attention is nicely drawn to this uh, castle over here. Really nice job. Alright, here's the entry from Dark Raider. Now uh, I immediately already love this uh, night sky here with uh, what I assume is the moon. Yeah, it says moon. Yeah, that's uh, mostly made with track texture, but also some uh, scenery. I think it works uh, quite well as the moon, actually. This is uh, quite nicely done. There seems to be a little bit of a color gradient uh, in it. Um, yeah, I think that uh, the moon actually looks really nice, the way uh, Dark Raider did it. Uh, it's entry has a really interesting shape, I really like it. Um, Looks like some uh, dig sites or uh, some mines going on. Here we have the lands of Kise. You can also see some uh, pickup trucks. Ah, here you see it, excavation team. So yeah, some uh, excavations uh, going on here in this uh, section. Uh, so yeah, over here you can see the queue for the dive coaster. So I guess actually spiral all the way up to this, uh, to this hill. And that's where this coaster uh, begins begins with an S-Band, not really sure how I feel about that, might be nice to just immediately drop into action or just have a straight uh, piece, but yeah, maybe it uh, was really difficult to move it uh, <laughs> otherwise. But yeah, quite a nice uh, layout for the coaster uh, as well, here it uh, drops down immediately, there's an inversion over here, and finally uh, here it drops down a second time under the path and then here's a, a second inversion so yeah, quite nice uh, um, interaction also with the paths maybe it would be nice to not have uh, actually have support here so that the coaster uh, does its spinny thing uh, right above the guest but yeah overall uh, i think this is just uh, wonderfully decorated i really like the look of this uh, map all right then we have the entry from carp runner he also made a really uh, striking vertical drop coaster now, I quite like the way he did the support for the higher parts of his coaster. Looks like lots of uh, B&M track, which actually works great uh, for supports uh, uh, when you use it in certain ways. And especially with all these uh, striking uh, colors, I think it uh, really uh, makes the coaster pop. Now, also the supports in uh, this section, I think they look uh, pretty nice. Yeah, um, coaster comes out of the station here. Uh, steep lift hill. Here's the first vertical drop. And after that, uh, it uh, goes into the mid course break run here before it goes into the second uh, vertical drop. And here it pops out again. And that's a final inversion before finally here it uh, returns back to the station. Now the transition into this inversion here does seem a little bit uh, sharp. Um, yeah, not really sure uh, how I feel about that. When you try to emulate a zero G roll, might be nicer it to uh, yeah to have the uh, transitions be a little bit more shallow, so it m looks more like a gradual curve. Because now it looks uh, a little bit awkward. But yeah, overall, I think it's a really nice looking uh, map. Some nice uh, buildings over here as well. Nice landscape, and uh, like I already said, especially these uh, supports uh, are really good looking in my opinion. Alright, next up is the entry from Papaneth. Uh, Papaneth made this really nice looking uh, Roman uh, or classical uh, themed entry. 
a lot of expansion pieces, but I think they are used in a nice way. So nice usage of these uh, recolorable roofs. So we can see this uh, coaster here, um, it leaves the station here, it drops up vertically, goes into this uh, nice looking inversion here, and after that it has uh, several uh, helixes before it returns back to the station. So yeah, I think uh, layout wise it would have been nice to have uh, another different element here rather than having three helixes. Uh, the helixes look good, don't get me wrong. But it's always nice to have uh, some variety in the uh, elements. Now, it does look uh, really nice. I love the way uh, Papanath made these uh, structures here. That's uh, that's super cool. And something which I also really like is uh, the way he made this uh, swing ride here in the middle. It uh, looks really good, especially with this uh, broken down Enterprise here used as the uh, topper for this uh, ride. It's just uh, really uh, nicely done. So yeah, wonderful entry from uh, Papaneth. Alright, here's the entry from Dididi and Otsterfa. This was one of my favorite entries. I uh, really like the theme they went for. It looks like it's in the theme of uh, of these uh, space uh, space stations or these uh, these uh, launch uh, bases, something like that. Uh, yeah, this uh, looks like something which uh, would fit right on uh, Cape Canaveral. Or uh, something like that. So yeah, um, here you can see the station for the coaster. I love the shape of this uh, building. The layout of the coaster is great. I really like this uh, diagonal uh, lift hill over here. And the first uh, vertical drop here. I think it looks great. Uh, nice and smooth. Then it goes into this uh, inversion here. And there's the mid course break run. After that here's the second uh, vertical drop. Another inversion here over this bridge. I like how that actually passes under and then over the bridge later. That's such good interaction. Uh, great uh, interaction with the queue here as well as it dives under it. And over here it returns back to the brake run and back to the station. Now I think the support work on this coaster is also uh, amazing. Also some other uh, cool rides here like these, uh, these, um, these drop towers called Rapid Descent Training. You can see the guests get in here. And it's this multi-dimension coaster track, so these seats uh, will rotate as the guests uh, fall down. Yeah, quite, uh, quite a cool ride. Probably made by Odsterfa, since he uh, really likes doing all this hacky stuff. Now here in the corner of the map we can also see this uh, theater. That's also uh, quite nicely done. I really like how they did the seating here. Now, something which I would have liked is uh, if they actually named all their rides. This is now called Hyper Twisted Trains. Probably would be nice if this was named Seating or Theater or something like that. That just helps a little bit with the uh, immersion. But yeah, overall, a wonderful entry from uh, the DD Rob and uh, Ostarfa. I uh, really enjoyed this. Alright, next up we have the entry from Aladran. I believe uh, this is his first entry for one of my contests. And oh boy, he uh, immediately uh, comes in guns blazing. <laughs> This is just a wonderful, well, the palette for this map is called something like Elden Ring. So, uh, yeah, it's probably not uh, difficult to see where the uh, inspiration uh, comes from. Uh, I love the way uh, he did the, the station over here. These buildings, uh, they just look so, so nice. Um, my favorite part is actually this tree right here in the middle. Um, these colors, uh, I think they work uh, together really well. Especially also with these blue colored rocks and uh, all this other scenery. Uh, yeah, for a for a new player, this uh, this map just looks so good, and uh, later and just has a great uh, way to pick a lot of scenery that works together really well. And uh, I especially love all the colors that were used in this map. And of course, uh, let's not forget this uh, incredible support work that was uh, used here. Um, yeah, it just looks uh, so nice. Just uh, something, uh, yeah. It, it's almost uh, uh, as if uh, Milpia worked on this uh, on this park. Obviously, it's Aladrin's uh, work, but uh, yeah, this is a so really uh, something which looks like it was inspired by uh, Milpia's uh, work. And I think that's uh, that's uh, it's just such a fantastic style. 
um, yeah, of course, uh, it would have been nice if all the rides were uh, were named, also the ones uh, used for the track texture. But yeah, um, this is a wonderful entry from uh, Alaydern, especially considering this is his uh, first entry for one of my contests. Amazing work, and I cannot see uh, what he will build in uh, the next contest. Amazing work. All right, next up, the entry from Technofuzz. Oh, he made this huge vertical drop coaster, also with uh, lots and lots of uh, nice decoration. Now, I love this uh, huge temple that he uh, created. You can also see some other nice rides here, like this swing ride. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, you can see the swing ride around this uh, little tower here. Uh, over here, um, as the coach travels up, uh, has all these arches to uh, uh, to support it. I think that looks amazing. So love these uh, waterfalls traveling down from this uh, lift hill. A huge vertical drop here, and into this long uh, into this long half loop over here. Um, yeah, some of the transitions uh, where it goes from steep to horizontal. Uh, they look a little bit sudden, uh, for example, also over here. Uh, well, it's a little bit difficult to see, but uh, yeah, when you have a large drop like this, uh, the, c the coaster will be going really fast over here. So then it might be better to uh, smoothen out the drop a little bit. Also on this side, maybe uh, it would be nice to have a more smooth transition and then simply go vertical, use a quarter loop here. Um, I think that uh, maybe would have looked nicer. But yeah, still, uh, this is a wonderful coaster, lots of uh, beautiful uh, supports, lots of beautiful uh, buildings as well. I like the way these uh, temples look here with all these uh, finds hanging, all this nice uh, foliage. And this uh, style of structure of these uh, buildings here is also really nicely done. Yeah, this is a wonderful map from uh, Technofuzz. Alright, uh, there's just three maps remaining, I will show the last three of them. And after that, I will reveal which one is the winner of the round. Okay, here's the entry from Ovenwood. Now, he made this bee-themed entry. Now, I uh, really like the way this uh, looks. Especially this section over here. You can see these uh, honeycombs here. And this uh, river of honey here. So yeah, that's just great uh, use of all these uh, colorable, uh, recolorable objects, which we allow in our contests these days. These uh, custom trees, uh, they look great. I also love all these uh, bees that uh, Ovenwood made. He even used recolorable versions of uh, of these hover cars uh, to make uh, what looks like a mustache for this uh, bee. <laughs> yeah, just great uh, decoration throughout. No, the layout of his coaster, I think it also looks really nice. Uh, here we can see uh, this uh, sunflower uh, station for the for the bee coaster. So the station over here, the vehicles leave the station here, then go up this diagonal lift hill, and then over here they drop down vertically into the rest of the track. Now I think it would have been nice to actually have some uh, catwalk over here, just like all real uh, vertical drop coasters I uh, have. Um, but yeah, after the drop goes through this inversion here, then passes through the section of track again. And then here's a little bit of brake section. And drops down here, and then it passes through the section again. I quite like how the coaster uh, crosses itself three times over here in this section. That uh, actually looks quite nice, and it's all next to a path, which gives the guests a great view of this uh, area. So yeah, it's definitely uh, great in the interaction uh, department. Now this, uh, yeah, it's all beautifully decorated, as I all uh, already said. Uh, he actually made a mini golf here that uses uh, helicopters, <laughs> kind of like the um, monster truck mini golf that I made for class action uh, mega park. I think uh, these uh, mini helicopters also uh, work great uh, for this purpose. So it's a wonderful and a silly park full of uh, fun. Uh, little rides and full of cool uh, decorations. Great work from Elvenwood. Alright, here's the entry from Skiffa. Now, you made this uh, beautiful uh, Asian temple in this mountainous landscape. And, well, it is kind of difficult to follow the coaster. Um, 
not really sure where the station uh, is located. Uh, let me quickly find it. Uh, I should probably just uh, click here. Hidden Dragon. Well, also Hidden Station. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's just... Uh, ah, over here, over here. I found it. So, here's the station. Then it drops down under it. Um, here's a bit of a section with some... Uh, drive wheels so that's what allows us to make it past this first section then it goes into this temple here and after that it uh, drops down into this uh, canyon and here's this uh, inverted uh, top hat it's a nice uh, support work yeah i really like how it travels uh, r right next to this uh, big castle here here's another uh, really nice inversion where it swoops down into the canyon again and then uh, over here it uh, returns back to the station. So yeah, quite a nice uh, layout from uh, Skiffa. Definitely unlike uh, most of the other uh, uh, dive coasters that we've seen. I think it uh, makes great use of the landscaping. Uh, Skiffa did a really nice job at the landscaping. Love uh, how we use these uh, differently color colorable uh, bushes. But yeah, some nice uh, gradients here in the foliage colors. Uh, I uh, think uh, Skiffa did an amazing job at that. And of course the temple itself also looks uh, really nice. So some uh, other uh, um, crazy rides uh, in this temple. So some river rapids. So yeah, um, yeah, Skiffa just did an amazing job here. It's just a wonderful entry with great landscaping. Alright, then there's one entry remaining. This is the one from Ace Trainer Li Wang. Now uh, he... Uh, <laughs> really got good uh, really quickly um, it's really nice to see uh, a newer player end up in the top three uh, yeah for this uh, dive coaster well it's a massive uh, support structure but i think it looks uh, really nice uh, yeah especially the, this what looks like a netting right next to the track i think that's a uh, that's a brilliant trick looks like he used some uh, corkscrew uh, coaster for that something like that but yeah that looks uh I think that looks really nice. Oh, it's actually a Hardline Twister Coaster track right uh, next to it. Well, that's uh, that's actually uh, pretty clever. I think it only really looks uh, looks great from uh, one angle. But yeah, um, just a wonderful support structure here. Um, I also like the layout of the coaster. It drops down here, dives under the path, then it uh, goes around the lift hill here. Here's an inversion right next to the to the lift hill. And then over here it crosses over the vertical track again. Then dives under the queue, which is always a nice touch. And then over here it returns back to the station. So yeah, really a compact coaster, but uh, he packed quite uh, a lot of interaction in that uh, in the, the small layout that, uh, that he had. So that's really nice. And also a, gr a really nicely decorated map. Uh, some uh, really nice plazas here, some nice uh, buildings all throughout the map. Some other cool rides like this uh, Larson uh, Looper. And we can also see a River Rapids ride uh, over here. Actually looks like it uh, dives out from <laughs> the waterfall here. Uh, may it be nice to actually add some more plants uh, next to the railing here. Or maybe use um, some monorail track here instead of this flimsy looking uh, uh, steeplechase track. Well, yeah, overall, this is just a great entry from Ace Trainer uh, Li Wang. Alright, now it's time to reveal uh, which one of these last three entries is the winner of the, our second dive coaster contest. Is it the one from Elvenwood in the B theme? Is it the one from Skiva in the Chinese temple theme? Or is it this entry from Ace Trainer Li Wang? And the winner of our second dive coaster contest is... Ulvenwood! Yeah, this was uh, once again a really nice round. Uh, but of course, only one person can be the winner. And in this round, it's once again Ulvenwood who has created a brilliant uh, entry. This uh, entry just has so many uh, funny uh, and nice sculptures. 
it's uh, once again an amazing entry from Elvenwood. And uh, I really like uh, that he went for a really unconventional uh, theme. <laughs> and of course the layout of his coaster was also really nice. So yeah, um, many great entries uh, in this round. Uh, and I really enjoyed uh, watching all these entries from all these uh, players. All right, we'll start a new uh, contest soon. I uh, hope you all uh, enjoyed watching these entries. If you want to join one of these contests, simply become a member on my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. And don't worry, Discord is completely free. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching all these entries. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. It would really help out my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.